بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ عَلَقٍ Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ramadan time. Aww, what's wrong? I, I want to, I want to go and play. <laughs> Samiha is feeling a bit tired today. <laughs> Anyways, I hope everybody is doing good deeds, doing dhikr, doing ibadat, and praying salah on time. So, next time, when you hear the adhan, you must leave your things behind and rush to the prayer mat. Let's move on to the good deed of the day. <laughs> The good deed of the day. Invite a friend to the masjid for prayer. Ramadan is the month where those who never prayed may start praying. However, they may fear ridicule and be labelled as a Ramadan Muslim. Invite them and be kind. Samiha, do you know that a man asked Sheikh Muhammad al-Ghazali what is the ruling of a person who doesn't pray? He said, the ruling is that you take him with you to the masjid. Yay! <laughs> so, inshallah, me and Samiha are going to go to the masjid and invite a friend to prayer. Yay! <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> now that we've finished the good deed of the day, let's move on to... Hadith! An Ibn Mas'ud رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عليكم بالصدق فإن الصدق يهدي إلى البر وإن البر يهدي إلى الجنة وإن الرجل يصدق حتى يكتب عند الله صديقا وإياكم والكذب فإن الكذب يهدي إلى الفجور والفجور يهدي إلى النار وإن الرجل لا يكذب حتى يكتب عند الله كذابا Narrated Ibn Mas'ud رضي الله عنه Allah's Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said Truth leads to piety and piety leads to paradise A man persists in speaking the truth Till he is recorded with Allah as a truthful man. Falsehood leads to transgression and transgression leads to hellfire. A man continues to speak falsehood till he is recorded with Allah as a great liar. So Samiha, we should never lie and we should always say the truth, no matter how bad it is. Because it's better if you say the truth rather than for it to be revealed on the Day of Judgment. Let's have a look at the lessons of this hadith, okay? The lessons of this hadith. Number one, being truthful is one of the good conducts that Islam calls for. Okay. <laughs> Number two, bring truthful is one way that leads to paradise. Number three, a believer who is known by others to be truthful is beloved by Allah and the people. Number four. Number four. Telling lies is a bad habit that Islam forbids. Number five. Falsehood is one way that leads to the hellfire. Now let's move on to the discussion corner. Yeah. So, Samia, I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Mm hmm Number one, what is one path that leads to paradise? Allah. No, the answer is not always Allah. <laughs> Should I tell you? Yeah. One path that leads to paradise is being truthful. Oh. So, when you always say the truth, then you will go to paradise. Yay, we will go to paradise. <laughs> Number two. What is one path that leads us to hellfire? Allah is. No. Samiha, I just told you. <laughs> Allah is not always the answer for a question. Okay, Samiha, listen carefully. One path that leads to hellfire 
is a falsehood. Oh. <laughs> so when you lie, that's going to lead to hellfire. You don't want that, do you? No. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. Number three. If our teachers ask us if we have finished our homework, even if we have not, what should we tell them? We, we say, I didn't do my homework. Yes, we should say the truth. Even if you don't want to say it, you should say it. Okay? If now, I finish my homework, then I can, I can be off. <laughs> now that we've finished the discussion corner, let's move on to Sora Learning Time. Yesterday, I taught Samiha so al kafirun Now she's going to say it by herself. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay, start with A'udhu Billah. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul ya ayyuhal kafirun la a'budu ma ta'budun wa la antum a'budun ma a'bud wa la anna a'budun ma ba'tum Wala antum abidun ma abud lakum di nukum waliyadin. Well done, mashallah, Samiha. <laughs> Remember, you made so many mistakes the other day and you have corrected them. I'm so proud of you. Now it's time to end the video. Before we end the video, <laughs> <laughs> before we end the video, I just wanted to say to you that you can always teach anybody, whoever you, can, you want. You can teach me, you can teach Serena, you can teach <laughs> Mary, you can teach Baba, you can teach whoever you want. <laughs> yes, you can teach anybody if they are older than you or smaller than you. Just remember... Just like I am smaller. Yes, just remember, people who are older than younger people they may know less than the younger and the younger can teach the older so they can know the knowledge that the younger people have but my teacher is younger <laughs> now we're going to have to end the video assalamu alaikum <laughs> Oh, no, no, no.